wonderful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, Aries, I want to remind you one thing, right? And that's that you never want to focus on what is because then that problem or that what is is only going to expand. So in order for you to have clarity, you have to merely set your focus into moving forward, progression. That's always going to come from some internal nudge. You know what I mean? From some internal like feeling of like, do this thing, right? So you just got to really start to tune in and read your energy and your subtle energy body of what you feel called to do, right? Right now we feel like it's time to move forward, move forward from whatever it is that you have been focusing on in the past, right? But it is time to move forward from that past, releasing that releasing that energy, that old energy, so that you can gain clarity. Because clarity and a clear perspective always will come from moving forward and choosing the path in life that we feel called to do. Just doing it without any fear, with any worry. You want to always ask yourself, right? Why would there be fear? Why would there be fear? Because you are the conscious creator of your life. So if you're experiencing fear, it means you're allowing that fear thought to be present within yourself, huh? You're allowing that emotion to be present. So because now we know when we realize, well, if I'm responsible for my energy and, and my, my, my thoughts, I'm going to really want to make sure that I don't have thoughts that are, you know, hurting me or taking away from me. So then you would want to practice certain practices like deep breathing, right? Where you actively acknowledge I'm overthinking, I'm in fear-based thinking mode, I've got a lot of emotions. You got to clear that away, right? So catch yourself and, and practice some deep breathing. Practicing writing a gratitude list is also very wise and very important for us. Not even so much like I'm so grateful for this, I'm so grateful for that. You can. What we would recommend is write down what you are grateful for as if it's already happened. So those things that you want that for your future, we would write those down like positive aspects, if you will. Write them down like so. And um, like practice scripting, right? Scripting, scripting, scripting of the life that you desire, right? That's going to be what gets the energy moving forward. Because again, whatever you set your focus on, you're going to attract that in. So if you focus on fear and worry, you're going to attract in fear and worry into your life. And the thing is, is that there is always opportunities and there is always magical new beginnings waiting. And this is really the truth. It's just, we have to discern with ourselves. We have to be responsible for where we're placing our energy and focus. And if we're choosing to focus on the worst case, we're going to get that right. But if we're choosing to focus on the best case, we're going to get that too. And love is all around for you. And know with the dragonfly spirit, it's about remembering remembering love in your daily practices, remembering that you're not always going to necessarily have the answers, right? But when you are in a grounded, calm state, you will have an inner knowing that everything is okay. And that's really what it's about. Because when you have an inner peace within yourself, you're able to then actually create and imagine a, the life that you want to live because when you're in a grounded and peaceful state, you're your true self. So when you're your true self, you actually know what you want. But when you are overthinking and fear-based and efforting, you don't even know what you want. So you're just trying, right? And that doesn't help us at all. So you see alignment first, action second. You always want to get into an aligned place first um, through, you know, experiencing peace and groundedness. And how do we do that? We do that first of all, by decoding what in our life is taking our power away. What in our life is taking our power away? What do you find yourself thinking about, obsessing about, worrying about, fearing about? That's going to be what you're going to want to address first. And not in a way where you just want to call yourself out. Ah, I see. I have a tendency to have my mind wander here 
frequently and this is not helping me. I'll give you an example, okay? Because it doesn't have to be, we, we deem good and bad. There's no good or bad here on planet Earth. It's just what we believe it is, right? So, so just know that, right? It's conditions run deep here. So I have been conditioning myself to, well, I've been focusing a lot on my uh, diet and health and just dialing in what works for me. That was my whole last chapter when I was traveling. That's what I was focusing on. Or that's what I was, it was in my awareness, I should say. So I practiced that in deeply. But because a lot of the time there was a lot of ungrounded uncertainty, I also practiced in emotional eating, fear-based eating, right? And so when I consumed something, it was more of an emotional thing than it was actually for the nutrients of my body. And I could feel that disconnection. And I could also feel that anytime I thought about food, my mind would take get the better of me and think about recipes and how to make it better, how to make it more creative, right? That's just what, what we have the power of doing is whatever you focus on and you enjoy it, you receive or you receive downloads, right? So but I realized I had to use some discernment because I realized, well, I don't want to be a chef or make uh, uh, have a life where I focus on food. That's just not what my intention is for my life. My intention is to, um, you know, learn day trading with my husband and evolve and, and, and so forth and other things. So I realized that thinking about food and consuming food was a problem for me. I had to call myself out. I literally had to call myself out and say, I have a, an emotional eating problem. And you know what? This has to be resolved because this isn't how I want to live my life. This is not what I would desire to tolerate. And it's really just about recognizing then what are the things in your life that are keeping you away? What, where are you placing your focus that's keeping you away from just putting your entire focus into what you actually care about, right? So I could tell that that was taking away from me, was, was food and thinking about food was taking away from me. So I was like, well... I can't have this, right? Because I need to have my full willpower to be able to put towards the endeavors that I actually care about, that I know are going to make me the successful being that I know that I am, right? That King of Pentacles energy of financial wealth and gain and, 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 and success and achievement. And this is your journey as well. Aries, this is your path as well. So that chariot represents willpower and that King of Pentacles represents financial gains, strength, uh, and, 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 and all the good things that come with that. But that does mean that right now you have to really be honest with yourself about what it is that you spend most of your time thinking about. What is it that you've been practicing in, right? And you want to start to clear that away. So now for me to clear away and healing that emotion um, that I've created around food choices and just eating in general and just food in general and recipes and this and that and making it all creative, I had to step away from that. So now I just, I drink juice. I drink green juice. I just drink juice all day. I don't even need to eat, right? So it, when you remove that thing that you find yourself feeling uh, powerless around, then you have more energy and more clarity to put towards what actually matters for you. And then clarity will come with whatever that is that thing was, right? So in order for you to reach that sense of stability and security and safety, you've got to determine for yourself where your power is being given. What are you willing to tolerate, right? It's like if you focus on your spouse not behaving in a certain way or your coworkers are so toxic or um, you know your mother won't stop calling you or whatever it is, right? If you choose to focus on that, that's what you're willing to tolerate. We want you to tolerate only what you want to create your life into, you see. Down in the comments below, write this down. I welcome money into my life. I welcome money into my life. I welcome money into my life. Welcome it in. Welcome money, welcome love, welcome success. I welcome it in and then just surrender and allow your energy bodies, allow your energy to guide you, right? Allow your energy body to guide you. Now, if you're having a hard time being guided, well, it's most likely because you need to have a little bit of a cleanse and detoxify, just as I'm doing with the juice. A cleanse and detoxify from the emotional programming I have instilled within myself surrounding food, food, right? So be real with yourself and honest with yourself because it is time for that cleanse and detoxify for you to better hear and read your imagination, connect better to your imagination so you can connect to the abundance that will, be, will, that will be provided for you. Your angel message says to you now, with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. If you have past traumas, 
that you can't seem to let go of. You keep thinking about them. They keep regurgitating. You've got to heal that beautiful soul that will never go away. You've got to heal through that. And healing through that means either focusing on something that brings you great joy and success and keeping your focus there very deliberate. But if you're finding your focus is scattered, it's most likely because you're going to want to clear some stuff up. You're going to want to recognize what's taking your power and seeking out that solution of how to heal that. You always have the answers inside of you. So never feel like you have to try, right? But the answers will be inside of you when you sit with yourself with the intention of receiving that solution. All right. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.